This classic home may look quaint, but it's also where one of the most infamous murders occurred in 1892. According to some people, strange things continue to happen here, much to their shock and surprise. Adding to the house's eerie reputation is the fact that it was the home of alleged axe murderess Lizzie Borden. Lizzie was charged with the vicious hatchet murders of her stepmother, Abby, and her father, Andrew. But after a sensational trial, a jury of 12 men found Lizzie not guilty. No one else was charged with the grisly murders. The mystery continues. Fall River, Massachusetts, the city that Lizzie Borden called home all her life, has preserved much of its 19th century heritage. And on 2nd Street, the Borden House, three stories tall, remains relatively unchanged. And according to some, the presence of the former tenants remains. I've heard shuffling going on outside doors. I've heard knocking, footsteps, whispering, lights being turned on all by themselves when you know you've just shut them off, dishes being put away when you're the only one in the house. It's a very scary feeling, and it just doesn't stop. I was given a night tour. All of a sudden, right behind me, a woman's voice four feet behind me. Hello? Within a minute, it happened again. Hello? I quickly turned around because I knew I heard it. And then two of the people on my night tour heard it also. Hello? And I can't help but wonder if that person heard me because I had a question mark behind the hello. So I wonder if there's a point in time when we overlap and we become the, the ghosts to each other. When you first enter the house, there's a spacious foyer. At the top of the stairs, you can look directly into the guest room where Mother Abby was killed. That morning, Mrs. Borden came up to this room to clean it and straighten up and was struck with the first blow that hit her on the side of the face between the ear and the eye. A housemaid discovered the bloody body of Abby later that morning. Also on the second floor in the middle of the house is Lizzie's bedroom. On the first floor, just off the foyer, is the living room where Lizzie's father, Andrew, was murdered. Lizzie claimed that she had been in the barn while her father was being murdered. She thought she heard a moan coming from the house and came in and discovered her father lying here bludgeoned. Does the ghost of Lizzie's stepmother return? Does Andrew inhabit the home where he died? Mr. Borden still claims this house to this day. This is their house, they're not going to leave. Strange photos show white shadows or a mist inside the house. This is an actual photograph in the room where Andrew Borden died. It's unaltered. Another photo shows what appears to be a man's face. And this snapshot of the second floor window at the back of the house was taken by a guest when the house was vacant. A close-up of the window reveals an older woman, what might be one of the last photos of Lizzie. Today, you can rent out one of the eight bedrooms and stay overnight in the Borden house. Most of what the overnighters will tell me is seeing shadows through the sides of their eyes, doorknobs being shaken, the shuffling outside their doors. Like all B&Bs, breakfast is served here in the dining room. But this may be the only one where you'll sit across from replica skulls of Lizzie's parents. If you want to pay your respects to the actual mortal remains of the Bordens, you can do so at the cemetery just around the corner where the entire family is buried. Every once in a while, before you know it, you've got people leaving the house practically screaming. You can turn the biggest skeptic into a believer. Just spend the night. You'll see for yourself.